Hey, Heidi Easley here, Texas Art and Soul, and we are going to be painting a take on the mermaid porch liner. If you saw that, but we're going to be doing a canvas version. So if you want the tracer of the flamingo that I'm going to be doing, go ahead and text me at this number and say flamingo. And I'm going to be over the next few weeks sending out a the tracer for free to all of you. So I'm really, really excited about sharing that. And I just want to just first off talk a little bit as I'm painting, I'm going to be sharing with you um, the colors I'm using for this painting. Also, this is what was so popular that I'm going to be doing kind of a version of this, but on canvas for today. So if you hadn't seen this porch laner yet, make sure you check it out. But I'm going to be doing a version of this for y'all today on canvas. So let me know if you are excited and let me know if you would love to get the tracer for free. If so, go ahead and text me here and I'm going to be giving that away to you over the next few days. Okay, so what I want to do first is let's see if I can see your comments. Go ahead and say hi as you come on. I'm going to go ahead and start drawing out the leaves. Okay, so I just want to bring them down back up almost like an arrow hey julie hey guys bring them down bring them over back up and over again so this part again it's just a little bit of a v kind of like a v but you bring it out and you want to bring it kind of going out some so if you accidentally make a mistake you can kind of go out some and while i'm teaching you this hey everybody i'm going to be i'm um, talking to you a little bit about if you have ever been shamed for being an artist and saying you want to make money as an artist, because I have, and let me let me let you know that it is totally normal. It's totally um, something that happens. I wish I could say it didn't happen. You never hear somebody say, "I'm going to be a dentist" or "I'm going to be a, a doctor," and somebody you know shames them for it. But there's something about, hey Tammy, hey Deborah. There's something about saying you're going to be an artist that makes people think that it's okay to say you can't make money at that. And I just want to talk to y'all right now and tell you it is not true. Okay. For those of y'all on here watching and you are making money as an artist, I want you to let me know in the comments. For those of y'all that are aspiring to make money as an artist, let me know in the comments as well. Um, yeah, Annie says by my own family. Um, yeah, that's the thing. It usually is by our family. Um, so I remember, and y'all, I'm going back and forth between these three colors. And remember to text me, and I'm going to be giving y'all the tracer to this flamingo that you're going to see in a minute. So I'm getting crazy. I'm using a festive green. I'm using a yellow green, and I'm even using a neon a neon green that is um, a thermal green. You could actually put a black light on it. Um, oh, Sue Ann, I'm so sorry that happened. Regina, I'm so glad your granddaughter's a wonderful artist. And I hope that you're, I'm sure you are. I hope you're inspi inspiring her and, and letting her know how much awesomeness she can make in the world because the world needs artists. The world needs people creating beautiful things. Think of the world if we walked around and nobody had created anything awesome, right? Um, let's see. Tammy says, I'm slowly making money with my Friday night classes. And um, Addie says, however, my family is very supportive. Oh, that is very good. Um, very good. <laughs> yeah, Lynn, I'm getting crazy. Um, so yeah, so I remember years ago. Okay, so I am very, very, um, what's the word? I'm very, very careful when it comes to like, oh, I'm, I will never tell you. Those of y'all that I teach, you know this is true. I will never say, just quit your full-time job. It'll be great. Everything will be wonderful. Like, I am not that person. I am so opposite of that. And I think it's because of, you know, losing everything, going bankrupt, all of that, that not so fun stuff. But it's taught me a lot of lessons. And so whenever, um, I'm going to go ahead and add one here. Kind of just going up, just kind of bringing it in. Again, if you want the tracer, make sure you, um, look in the comments or write down or screenshot this so you can text me make sure you text me so that you can see this oh good regina she says um she's won so many ribbons oh that is awesome yeah let me know in the comments if you're um 
if you're an aspiring to make money artist or you already are. And um, so I remember whenever I was um, getting ready, because I'm very, very careful, like I did not quit my full-time teaching job until I knew I was already making enough money with my paint party business. And so, um, and even then I went part-time teaching while I was building up my paint party business. So here's the thing about that that I want to share is I remember at a family reunion, one of the family members looked at me and he goes, is that really going to work? And I was like, uh, we're about to find out, you know, but even that little comment can make you doubt yourself, can make you go, maybe they're right, you know? And if I would have listened to that family member or another family member, whenever I actually was quitting my, my full-time teaching job, again, I'm not here saying quit your full-time teaching job. I always say, or whatever job you have, I always say build it at first. And as you build it up, then you can change things. Then you can go, okay, this is supporting me. Let me switch over to that. Hey, Kim. Hey, Sue Ann. Hey, Patricia. Um, so what I want you to do is to remember that. And I, I remember another family member. And again, usually, like Annie was saying, usually it's family. I hate, I hate that it's that way, but it's the people closest to us that usually those digs hurt us. And, you know, we have those digs that we do to them, unfortunately, as well. I mean, you know, it's just the people we love the most are usually the ones we hurt the most. And um, does it make it right? I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying that's usually how it goes. And so I remember another family member that was like, are you sure? Are you sure you want to quit your, your teaching job? And, um, and I was just like, you know, this is the, the next move. This is where I feel like I'm being led. This is where I'm supposed to go. And, um, but when they do that, it can put so much doubt, you know? And so I think a lot of times as an artist, we are, we're kind of shamed for, for doing this and being able to make money at it. And, you know, I teach a profit every party and I teach that, you know, we do not have to be starving artists. You know, that is something that people, they, they gravitate towards and then they never, ever get out of that. And I want to share with you that you do not have to be a starving artist. So let me know in the comments if you've ever had somebody kind of shame you for being an artist or, you know, this is the way you're trying to make money. Or maybe you already are. Um, again, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong, nothing wrong with working another job while you build up your art business. I actually encourage that because I think that takes away a lot of the pressure. And that's what I did. Okay. So I am putting on these leaves with the green. And again, those of y'all that are just joining, I'm about to paint a huge flamingo, but I want to get a background there. Hey, Tanya. And um, oh, I'm so sorry, Sue Ann. And Tanya says, I just started painting in November. I have sold a few paintings. My family is very supportive. Oh, Tanya, I am so happy to hear that. Yeah, you don't always have a very supportive family. Um, and that when you do, be very, very grateful um, because a lot of families aren't as supportive as yours. And so I'm, I'm very lucky. I've had a few comments here and there, but then, you know, most of those comments have gone away. Actually, actually, I, I take that back. Some of those comments are still happening um, on, the, on the case of um, now the comments are, well, will that last? Huh. That's working, but will that last? And I'm like, we don't even know if our normal nine to five job will last. Nobody knows. Nobody knows what's going to last, what's not going to last. All we can do is, is pray, do the best we can, and keep living every day and do the next step. You know, that's all we can do. We can't sit here and go and live in fear of, oh my gosh, what if this, what if that? Like, I don't know about y'all, but I am done living in fear on, on what ifs, what ifs. I think we have all got to stop living in fear of the what ifs. We can't be that way. We can't live that way. And um, so make sure that you're, um, you know, if you've ever had that feeling, just make sure that you don't listen to it. Surround yourself with people that are going to support you with that. Okay. So I'm going to grab, um, some of this other green. So remember, we have um, a yellow green and then also a neon green. And I'm just gonna grab some of this yellow green and start to add it in here, okay? So you can see 
Sorry about that. Okay, hopefully you can still see me. <laughs> Whenever you start to add the yellow green, just kind of put it on here. And, um, and the reason I wanted to share this topic today is because I know a lot of y'all are going through that. And I want you to know that you don't have to be alone, that it is totally normal. It is totally normal. Um, I remember another another little fun story. And of course, you know, share share yours in the um in the comments as well. Um let's see, Kaylee says, God has been so good to me that I can't doubt his purpose for me. Oh, I love that so much, Kaylee. Oh my gosh, I love that. Yeah, we can't doubt, we cannot, that's so true. We cannot doubt um the purpose, the purpose that we feel God has for us, that He's He's, you know, put in our gut <laughs> that every day we wake up and we we do something because we know that we're supposed to, that next step. Um, but I remember one time I was teaching a, a paint party. I think there was about 75 people. Um, I love that, Pamela. Hate is going to hate. <laughs> um, I was teaching about 75 people and um, may have been more than that, actually. It was a it was a pretty significant party. And um and this was several years back and, and I had been, you know, helping everybody running around, kind of getting everything set up. And we were, we were um, about to teach the first step. And one of the, you know, it was an all women's event. Well, one of the, the husbands who was an older gentleman, he was sitting at the back of the room and I just went by and said, hi, you know, cause I, that's what I do at paint parties. I run around and say hi. And I, I teach and all of those great stuff, right. You know, like having fun. And, um, and I remember he had this like grumpy, grumpy face. And he was like, he's like, I just, I just, he was all grumpy. I just, just can't believe people pay to come do this. And I was like, and he didn't know that I, I was running it. <laughs> and I was like, well, and I turned around and I looked and I was like, it looks like everybody's having fun to me. I mean, and seriously, there's like 75 plus women in there laughing, connecting, because remember, it's not about a paint party, right? Like, you know, we're, we're getting to, together a paint party, but that's really not what it's about. And um, it's about connecting. It's about being together. It's about doing something different. You know, it's about celebrating a birthday. It's about whatever that celebration is, right? And so, um, and so he was like, had this grumpy face. And he was like, I just, I just can't believe people would pay to come do this. This is ridiculous. And I was like, I was just kind of smiling. I never once told him who I was, which I'm sure he saw because, you know, eventually I went back up on stage with the microphone, <laughs> but I was like, I was like, well, it looks like they're having a great time to me. And, and then I, I would kind of like walked away and I was just thinking, obviously he is not my target market. Like, obviously he is not the, the customer that wants to come paint every month with me. Um, and that's the thing is, you know, you may have family or somebody that, that shames you for wanting to do your paint party business um, or whatever that is. And by the way, remember, Paint Party Headquarters opens on Mar on May 16th. So if you have been waiting for Paint Party Headquarters, we open the doors May 16th. So make sure you, you set your calendar for that day. But so if you've been having people that, you know, may shame you for... Um, for wanting to do an art business, or you have that fear of, you know, well, what if I mess up? Well, what if I do this? Or what if I do that? And number one, I want to tell you to stop, just stop, stop living in fear. Choose to choose to not choose to not live in fear. You have a choice. You have a choice every single day. So I want you to choose not to live in fear. Then I want you to remember the, and I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go in with some um, neon green before I do um, before I do my flamingo. Okay, and um, I'm gonna do the neon green. And um, Linda says yes. I bought about fifty dollars worth of canvases, and my husband was shocked when my mom paid me three twenty to paint at her daughter's birthday. <laughs> yes, that's the thing. Like paint parties, you can make some serious money. Um, oh, this is a one inch brush, Candice. One inch brush, and then I am doing um, a lot of y'all. We're really interested in that flamingo um, porch sign. So I'm going to go ahead and do a, um, a flamingo canvas. So we have another alternative. And I just wanted to add some, some really bright fluorescent green that'll go into a, um, you could use a black white. 
for it because I just feel like we need we need some bright colors right now, right? <laughs> we need some bright colors. Um, let's see. And Tanya says, do what you love. I love doing poor paintings and freehanding anything on them. Oh, that's awesome. Stephanie says, yes, amen. Yes, so I, I want y'all to not live in fear. I want you to stop, you know, waking up every day, living in fear. And that is a choice. That is a choice you have, regardless of, of if your family or whoever has, has shamed you for wanting to make money as an artist. And you still, I don't know if you realize this or not, but you still have the power to choose, regardless of what anybody has ever said to you, you have the power to choose if you want to sit there and replay it in your brain every day. And I don't know about y'all, but besides the lessons I've learned from those people that that doubted me as wanting to paint for my living, um, I, I choose to not let those lessons, the, those um, comments keep me from doing what I want to do. Because they're living their life. You know, why can't you live your life, right? So I want you to remember whatever you choose to do, that's you. You get to choose whether or not you let their comments bother you. And that's another reason why we talk a lot about um, certain people not telling everybody what you are wanting to do. Because not everybody needs to know. Not everybody. A lot of times, you know, um, me and Pixie call them dream crushers. <laughs> we call them dream crushers. And there's a lot of people in my life that I have, you know, by mistake have, have been so excited about something. And then they, you know, nothing to them, you know, it's nothing to me, it's to them. They're nervous, they're scared, whatever that is. So they're just, um, just nervous. They're just nervous, they're fearful. And then you go to tell them something really cool you want to do. I'm going to bring in a line here. Just a simple little line. See how we just take the one inch brush and a little bit of that dark green and just bring it like this. But it has nothing, nothing to do with you and everything to do with them and their fears. So I just want to encourage you real quick. I'm about to paint a flamingo. <laughs> Let's make sure I can do it. I'm going to do it freehand. But for those of y'all that sign up for um, to get my text messages, um, usually I text you before I go live. I forgot to text you this time, so I apologize. Um, but for those of y'all that want to get my text messages that say when I'm going live, because over the next few weeks, we are going to get, um, we're going to be talking more about how to make creative money. We're going to be talking more about how to do a profit every party. So for those of y'all that are interested in that kind of stuff, do not miss out. And then also all of you that are texting me over the next um, couple of weeks, I'm going to be giving you this um, tracer for the leaves and the tracers for the flamingo. And um, so in just a second, the flamingo will be created and then I'll make a tracer for it. And um, oh, thank you, Linda. Pam says, hello, Heidi, doing one of my fears tonight, doing my first live sale. Oh, Pam, I'm so excited. Oh, Patty. Wow, it's my husband doesn't think much. Of oh, I'm so sorry, Patty. You know, I find that um, when you do teach a paint party, when you do have a profit and they start to go oh that really works or you know a lot of times it'll be something that's very um once you actually take action with it and have some success a lot of times there it changes and patricia yes yeah as soon as i'm done with it patricia for those of you have pphq i'll take images of it and then i'll make sure to post it for you yeah Okay, I'm gonna just, I wanna put the flamingo on while you're here. And we just need these leaves dry. So those of y'all that are doing this as a paint party, make sure, make sure the end, your leaves are dry before you start painting on there. I'm on a canvas. Yeah, and Patty, those of y'all on here that have had, um, oh, good, Erin, that's awesome. So for those of y'all, I know um, Patty's probably needing some, it sounds like Patty might need some encouragement on here. For those of y'all on here that um, have had doubt, like me, that have had um, 
people doubt you like I have and have, you know, shamed you for wanting to be an artist. And let's let, you know, other people know that it's, it's happened. It's okay. It's, it's unfortunate, but it, it does happen. Um, bubblegum pink. And then also I want y'all to, um, I want y'all to, um, remember that, you know, I have a, I have an ebook that I, I wrote and it's all about kind of like protecting your dreams and protecting, um, what you, um, what you, you know, are excited about and what you're wanting to do, because I've just seen it so many times where I've been so excited that I'm cherished and um, I'm using bubblegum pink and royal fuchsia. And I'm hoping I can freehand this for y'all and it turns out great so that we can um, go straight into it. I can make a tracer for, for y'all. Um, and this one right here, I'm going to use a little bit of a coral blush just because I like it. Um, but yeah, it's all about kind of protecting yourself. Now I'm a big, I'm a big, you know, I'm a praying girl. Like I, I feel like we need to, um, you know, pray for God to show us opportunities. Then we need to also take action and not just, you know, hope those opportunities happen. And, um, and another thing too is, you know, we can't, we can't be so excited about something and then expect our family or our friends or whoever to just you know, for them to be just as excited as we are, you know, um, I think about, you know, my husband, he's so supportive and he, um, coaches tumbling, he coaches gymnastics. And I think about like, you know, he tells me about stuff, but I mean, I'm, I could care less about gymnastics. Like I can't even do a cartwheel. I can't touch my toes. And so, yes, I want to be supportive and I try to listen, but really all of that stuff is, I mean, it's not interesting to me because I, I don't do it. I am interested because he does it and I want to support my husband. But for the most part, it's not something that I could sit there and listen to forever and ever and ever because I, I mean, quite frankly, I'm just bored. And it's kind of like Bobby with paint parties. He's heard me talk about paint parties for 13 plus years. And so for, you know, after a while, he kind of gets sick of hearing about paint parties whenever, you know, that's not his thing. He, he's, you know, he can paint, but he doesn't want to go out and make a living doing paint parties. So, um, so we have to also give our family and our, um, our family and our, um, you know, our friends some, some credit too, for the fact that, you know, we don't have to share all of that. Um, I'm not saying don't share your life with your family or your friends. I'm just saying be protective of those dreams. And I see a ton of y'all grabbing um, or making some comments about that too. And um, okay. So bubblegum pink, Bubblegum pink is one of the pinks. And then how many of y'all have already texted me? If you have not, go ahead and text me. Just put, um, you know, tracer and then here in the next couple of, um, next couple of days, um, or, you know, depending on when you're watching this, I'm going to send the tracer to y'all. Okay. So here I go. I can do this, right? No pressure. I'm going to freehand. <laughs> freehand another flamingo for y'all. Okay, so I want to make it big and I want to add in some flowers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up here. Let me turn it this way so y'all can see it. And then if you need my number, go ahead and screenshot this so you can write it down. And um, oh, I love that. I love how you're all supporting each other in this, in this. This is so cool. Okay, so I'm going to grab some white too. So I have a couple of pinks and some white, and I'm gonna go for it. All right, okay, so we're gonna have a big flamingo about right here. So I'm gonna start with this neck, bring it down like a backwards question mark, and then I'm gonna bring up his tail feather, tail feather, shake it, shake it, shake it. And then I'm gonna have another little tail feather Oh, Jess, I'm so happy to hear that. That is wonderful. Wonderful. I love um, reading y'all's comments, by the way. So, yeah, if y'all want to get the free tracer for this, go ahead and just text me. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be sharing that very soon through text. Concentrating. <laughs> Concentrating. Okay, so here's the end of it. I want to make sure it's cute, so when I turn it into a tracer, you'll want it. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you for Andy. She says, you can do it. 
Okay, and then we have our, our little legs here. Okay. And then we have our legs going here. And then, okay. All right, so we have some backwards legs going in. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just fill this in. See how great that is, how the pink will go right over the green, especially if you've already let it dry. If not, it's going to mix too much, and it's going to get too too muddy, but because I am doing it this way, it's gonna actually be fine. So I'm just getting some color on here first, and then I'm going to um, show you how to shade it a little bit, okay? How's that sound? Oh, thank you so much, is that Carmel? Thank you. Yeah, if you want the free tracer, you need to text me. So this is a little bit of a different method than normal. So you have to, if you wanna screenshot this, um, go ahead and screenshot it. I'll hold it here for five, Four, three, two, one. <laughs> so make sure you screenshot it because um, because you're gonna text Flamingo, Flamingo Tracer to me, and then that way we can get it to you, okay? So if you'll text Flamingo or text Flamingo Tracer, then we will get this to you. Again, give me just a few days because I'm actually creating it right now. Oh, thank you, Penny. She says, love your free-handed flamingo. You're so talented. Thank you so much. So I'm going to actually um, start doing the head. So y'all wish me luck. Hopefully I don't don't mess it up on the, the eighth hour here. Is that the right 12th hour? I don't know. I don't know what that's saying. Okay, so I'm adding a little um, step here. And now I'm going to add some of the light over here. We just want a little bit of a contrast. And then what I'm going to do is Go ahead with a round brush. Let me add a little bit more of this. I'm gonna go in with a round brush, like a six round, and then I'm going to grab um, a little bit more of this, okay? So let me go ahead and get the, the head coming down here. Let's see. I just want to make sure I'm getting the head right. So I'm just concentrating just a little. And I'm going to fill all this in with just those two pinks before I start adding some shading. Who on, who on here loves flamingos? We have a lot of flamingo lovers. I love some flamingos. Oh, if you want to text. Um, oh, if you don't have text. Um, if you don't have text, eek, um, if you're inside Paint Party Headquarters, you'll have it through there. Um, but I was trying to give y'all, um, you just text from your cell phone. So it's from your cell phone. It doesn't cost you any extra. It comes, I, I pay for the text. So if you text from your cell phone, it'll, um, you'll be able to do that. So hopefully you have a, a texting for your cell phone. Most people do. Um, okay, so I'm going to add some white now. So I went to a liner brush just to add that. And then I'm going to show you real quick how to add some um, quick flowers before I add the fun extras here, okay? So what I was wanting to do is because we have a lot of pink and green, I want to add just a little bit more pink, but then also maybe a little turquoise. So right up here, and this you can tell this is a canvas that has been um, been like punctured, so I'm using it for here. And all I'm gonna do is just do a little backwards line like that, and then bring it up, okay? And then just kinda go just like that, and then I'm just gonna bring it around. Another little U. And these are just some fun hibiscus. Another little U, and then bring another one in here. Okay, so now I can do a little line there and fill it in. So I'm going to fill this in and then I'm going to show you how to quickly add some fun lines to make this all really, really pop. And um, Robin says, what is PPHQ? I'm new at this. Oh my gosh. So PPHQ is, is paint party headquarters. So for those of y'all that want to learn more about how to teach a paint party, how to have a profit every paint party, how to make money doing paint parties online, in person, or with art kits, we open the doors on May 16th. So what that means is that you can join. You can be a member on May 16th 
And so set your alarm. We'll send out, you know, information about it. We'll send out emails about it. Um, but basically it's every month you get a new painting design that you get to use to make money. So like everyone in Paint Party headquarters, I'll take images of this. I'll have it staged. I'll have it beautiful. And then they'll be able to use it immediately to make money for their paint parties. Now, if you're watching and you're new to me, again, I don't mind if you paint this. That's totally fine. Um, but if you're trying to make money with it, I really, honestly, I want to make sure you're a part of Paint Party Headquarters. And then you can use any of my designs to make money. So that's, um, that's something that I offer because when I first started doing paint parties, that was one of my biggest struggles was coming up with the next new on-trend designs for paint parties, for all of that great stuff. But I was working full time. I was busy. Like I said, I've been doing paint parties for, um, you know, 13 years now. And so I remember just being, you know, a teacher and trying to come up with the next new thing. And then also in that group, I teach you new marketing strategies because, you can't have a business if you don't know marketing. <laughs> so I'll teach you marketing strategies and all that. And that opens the doors. We do our big, um, this will be our third year anniversary. We've been around for three years. And we have around 2,000, over 2,000 awesome PPHQ um, people in there that I just love and adore so much. So um, they're all growing their businesses, learning, and just doing such a great thing. Um, with their paint parties and all of that good stuff. Some of them are just starting. Some have been, you know, making money for a while. But um, my whole goal is to help you um, as you are growing your, your art business, you know, whether your paint party adventure is just starting or whether you have been doing this for years and years like me. So very, very excited to um, help y'all, especially those of y'all that are coming in on May 16th. And then also, um, you know, over the next few weeks, we're going to be talking a lot about, you know, creative money and paint parties and all kinds of fun ways that you can make some really creative money. And um, maybe you just need the money. Maybe you want to go on a, a vacation this summer and you want to put that money aside um, for a vacation. But whatever your reasoning is, I want to be able to help you and um, get there. So I'm really excited to help you. Okay, so I'm grabbing a little bit of that darker pink and just kind of adding it in here. And we're going to add some details really quick to just kind of make this whole thing pop. How's that sound? Let's see. Penny says, do I need to text Flamingo Tracer if you already get, if you already get my text? No, if I, well, actually, maybe just reply to one of mine and say Tracer and Flamingo Tracer. That way we can for sure get it to you. Because this will take me a couple days to get it to you. But once, if you, if you text Flamingo Tracer, then when I'm going through my text, I'll know for sure that you want that. So I won't be sending this just randomly. But um, so if you're watching the replay, you can still text Flamingo Tracer and we'll make sure that you get it. Okay, so now I'm going to switch to my liner brush and I'm going to grab, let's see, I'm going to grab some black paint. Okay. All right. And I'm going to just kind of get in right here where the, the flamingo has this beak area. I'm going to have this right here and then I'm just going to bring down a line. Okay. So I'm just going to start adding in some of these little, little hints that'll start making this flamingo pop. Okay. And um, when you use a liner brush, it's just a really, really the smallest, maybe like a size one or size zero, whatever you can do for the, the liner, like the smaller brush that you can use. And then I'm going to grab a little bit here and do a circle for my, my flamingo eye. Now I'm going to keep everything very, very simple. I'm just going to be putting some lines in. Very simple because I want to be able to teach this at a paint party and it be something that, that I can easily teach in just a couple of hours, if not an hour and a half. So usually paint parties last anywhere from two to two and a half hours. And so you want to be able to make sure that when you do your paint parties, if it's something that you can paint in about 45 minutes, It'll be something that your guest can paint. And I'm just going to bring 
this liner right there on this side. Um, it's going to be something that your guests can paint in um, about two hours. So whatever takes you about 45 minutes. And again, if you're new to painting, sometimes it just, you know, you just got to get some practice, right? Oh, I forgot the little feet. I'm not really good at flamingo feet. I don't really know what to do there. Maybe do your own flamingo feet. <laughs> I'm not really good at the flamingo feet. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit more black details here. And again, just some fun stuff. Just some fun lines. And then we're going to go in with some white. Okay, so let me add a couple of lines in here. And this is just a really fun, fun, easy um, painting, especially if you have the tracer. It's going to be real, real simple. It's not going to be that hard at all. And you can see I'm not doing a lot. I'm not doing a lot of um, shading. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to this, and I'm going to use some white. Oh, too much white. Got too much white. I blobbed, <laughs> I blobbed it on there a lot. <laughs> okay, remember, if you're wanting the Flamingo Tracer, you need to text me, Flamingo Tracer. Don't just comment. Make sure you text, okay? All right, so on here, I'm just going to kind of like start to add with my, my one-inch brush just some lines just to kind of make it a little bit, what's the word? Make it kind of stand out. Make it kind of pop, okay? So we're just kind of adding in some lines. Nothing serious. All right, and then the same thing with, with the, the flamingo. So I'm just going to kind of add in some of these white lines. I'm going to brush in some white here just for some texture. White line there. Just a little bit here and there. Nothing major, okay? Same thing with the flower. I'm just gonna grab it and start adding some white in here. Just some big whooshy white lines. And then I'm gonna turn it over and do little dots, little white dots on here. Can y'all see that okay? Oh, I am hoping your health gets better, Penny. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I hope your health is getting better. And yeah, and about Paint Party Headquarters, like I said, I mean, we, we don't open till May 16th. So, you know, if you're wanting to join and hopefully, you know, you can at that time. But, um, but yeah, you need to definitely pay attention to your health and make sure whatever you're doing. Oh, I just got a really fun delivery. Thank you, honey. Ah, I have a ton of big old surfboards I'm going to be painting. So excited. Okay, so I'm just going to add in a little bit more white here. But yeah, definitely, Penny, I hope you start to um, start to get better. And also, you know, for those of y'all, you know, just start painting. If you're not sure what to do, um, always just start painting. I think that's always the, the, the best thing to do is just start, start painting. I know... Um, you know, just healing and just going through that kind of, you know, anything that's medical could be really, really um, hard to, to do. Okay, so we have this on here. The only thing that I think we, we could maybe still add, and um, we could add maybe another flower right here. Let me know if you think it needs another flower. So let me know. Flower, no flower. Flower, no flower. And um, Karen, okay, so Paint Party Headquarters is 37 a month. And so and um, that is, again, like I said, on um, May 16th, we'll open the doors for that. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. So what do y'all think? Flower, no flower. Flower, no flower. Yes, flower, flower, flower. Okay, lots of people saying flower. Okay, let me quickly add one on real quick. And then um, remember, if you want the, the tracer to this, um, you need to text me. Text me here and put tracer. Um, okay, so I'm going to do a smaller one. So I'm just going to go up. Let me see if y'all can see this okay. Ah. And this is kind of like a version of what we did the other day. For those of y'all that did not see the porch leaner, make sure you go back in my, um, my videos. And then also, 
y'all that are getting my text, I'll let you know when I'm live. So that's the best way to find out when I'm live, because we're going to be talking about a lot of stuff over the next few weeks um, about paint parties, about making a profit every party, about our fears of paint parties, all those things that, again, are totally, totally normal. Um, but man, how fun is it when you actually do a paint party and all the great things that happen with it are so, so exciting. Um, and again, you never know where this paint party adventure is going to lead you. You know, this could just be a stepping stone to where you're at next. And so the pinks I'm using are bubblegum pink, um, bubblegum pink from, oh, from Deco Art, and then a royal fuchsia. I didn't ever, ever use that coral, so um, you can use it if you want, but I never used it on this. I actually just used a few colors. So I'm going to add this on here. I'm actually going to add my little, little hibiscus thing there. I'm going to do a few little dots. Okay, and then let me put in a little bit of that darker pink, just a smidge, just to give it a little bit shading. Okay, all right, now I'm going to just add a couple of little highlight lines. So I have my liner brush back out. Oh, and Candace, so you can see my videos a few different places. So how many of y'all have subscribed to my YouTube channel? How many of y'all know I have a YouTube channel? <laughs> you can see it on my YouTube channel at Texas Art and Soul. You can also see um, my videos on this channel, my Facebook page. A lot of times, if you share this video to your personal page, if you want to um, be able to find it faster, you can do that so you can find it because um, we, we share a lot of videos, so it may get lost. Um, so if you want to make sure you don't lose this, go ahead and share it to your personal page, and that'll help make sure you you don't lose it. Um, but yeah, so you can you know go there. You can go to my Texas Art and Soul YouTube channel, um, and then you can also go to um, my Instagram, Texas Art and Soul underscore. So if you haven't followed me there, but the main thing that you want to um, get on is my text message because that's where I you know, give you all the new information and when I'm going live, all of that fun stuff. Okay, I feel like it is almost done. What do y'all think? I feel like it might need some splatter paint. I don't know why. Oh, Robin says, what do you get for the 37 a month? Okay, so we're gonna, we'll talk more about that. But if you go to my website, Texas Art and Soul, um, we have um, Paint Party Headquarters where you can look up some information on it. But basically you get painting tutorial every month, plus um, marketing tips, social media tips. Um, we have prayer and gratitude meetings, as well as brainstorm sessions and a whole, whole, whole lot more. <laughs> we do SVGs every month, all kinds of fun stuff. Oh, good, Kim. You're subscribed. Oh, awesome. Um, okay, good. So do I need to do splatter paint? Probably not because in a paint party setting, it could get a little crazy. It could. I think that's everything. I'm just not happy with this feet. I don't know about the feet. Yes, Linda. Glitter. We should definitely add glitter. So for those of y'all that are new to me, this is my favorite paint party glitter because it's a crystal and it can go on anything. So I'm going to show you real quick how to use it just with your fingers. And so if you squirt it on there, you can actually almost like your finger painting. And it is so much fun. <laughs> so usually I advise to use glitter everywhere. <laughs> That's just how I roll. And I've had people at my paint parties literally repaint their entire painting with glitter and see how it kind of if you can see it shine in the thing I don't know if it's on there if you can tell um yeah and, and Chris I do not um spray my paintings afterwards only if it's a wood painting so like this one that I did the other day this one I sprayed with the polyurethane so this is the version of this that I did the welcome sign the welcome porch leaner version and then I ended up doing a canvas version for those of y'all that want to do it as a canvas version so this yes 
I did spray. This one I did not because it's just going to be a, a canvas inside. Okay, so let's recap. <laughs> For those of y'all that have been having people struggle with uh, maybe shaming you for being an artist, wanting to do something as an artist, um, please, please rewind this, watch it from the beginning, because I'm telling you, um, that is totally normal. I wish it wasn't, but you know, when you tell people, um, you know, I'm gonna be a dentist, I'm gonna be a chiropractor, nobody says anything um, negative about that. But when you say, I'm gonna be an artist, there's something about it. There's this starving artist mentality and I want y'all to remember that um, it's not true. It's not true. Do not subscribe to that, <laughs> okay? There are many, many ways to make money and um, doing what you love and painting and creating and all of those great things. And I'm so excited to tell you because I have done it from bankruptcy to business owner before the age of 30 to now um, loving every single day what I get to do. And I'm so happy I get to teach you as well. So I want you to just be very, very careful um, with who you share your dreams with. Um, not saying that you can't share them with your friends and family. Just remember that sometimes, um, you know, the people that love us most are the ones that can be most doubtful. And there's nothing better that, that shows that it works than when you go to a paint party and you're like, yeah, I made $250 tonight. And they're like, what? <laughs> and that, I feel like that's the, the best way to show. And then and for those of y'all that want the tracer for this painting, um, the way you get it is by texting me. So text me and in the next few days, we will get the tracer to you um, through text message. So make sure you text me. And then all of y'all that are in Paint Party Headquarters, like I said, I don't mind if you just paint it for fun, but those of you that are in Paint Party Headquarters, I'm going to, you know, finish this up, get it all ready for you, and then you can, off to the races, start using it to make money at your paint parties. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, and please make sure you text me, text Flamingo Tracer to 817- 373-5478 and we will get that to you in the coming days. All right, y'all have a great day.